Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. In this video, we will discuss the latest situation of B4E Global and how in the last 24 hours things have really changed as far as the legal case is concerned. Uh, first of all, just a quick recap. Uh, Mr. Sefer Rahman, the owner, was arrested around three months back by the all-powerful National Accountability Bureau. Uh, he was in their custody, but before he could be prosecuted, the law by which the government arrested Sefer Rahman, the NAB arrested Sefer Rahman, was changed and he was sent to a normal prison. Uh, but that law came back, so basically he could be arrested again by the all-powerful National Accountability Bureau. But yesterday, an accountability court or the NAB court uh, did not allow NAB to again arrest Mr. Sefer Rahman. And the reason is that that NAB officials said that the applications they got from the victims, they uh, some of them are fake, so they cannot work on that anymore. So this is a very big uh, breakthrough or big break for uh, the owner because if the case evidence is weak, then he cannot be prosecuted as such. So what has happened is that despite of the law uh, through which he can again be prosecuted by NAB, again be arrested by NAB, and NAB is very tough organization in Pakistan. He was not sent to a NAB prison. He was not given in the custody of NAB, and he was sent back to normal prison, and his uh, next hearing is on 13th of December. So, in that two weeks, anything can happen now because NAB arrested him and now NAB says that the evidence with, with which they arrested him is very weak because most people, they say, uh, they filed uh, applications against him. That, appli that applications turned out to be fake. So, this is a very, very breaking news and very big breakthrough in his case and it will affect and it will give him very big benefit as such. So, so as far as the money matter is concerned, people money is stuck. Money was taken illegally. Uh, he did not have the license. Uh, but you know, as the law is concerned, judges see what is presented before them. And the National Accountability Bureau says that the applications, most of them are fake. And he was not given in the custody of NAP. So this is the latest situation of the company right now. Uh, people money is still stuck. So, but as as far as Sephiriban is concerned, there's a ray of hope for him now. Uh, that's the situation. If you like this video, kindly like and subscribe to the channel for more updates. Thank you.